All right, so last minute trip. LD got a hold of me last night and uh, got to run up north, a couple hour ride up to Wenatchee. So we threw a ride together. Literally, we're going up to get a wallet. One of uh, LD's friends left a wallet up there at a movie theater and Popeye, you have all heard Popeye on the podcast, the Law Abiding Biker podcast. He's up in, uh, you know, with the Soren Few Motorcycle Club that we're with, and he's uh, up north, the president up there in Wenatchee. So apparently he's got the wallet, and that's how we roll here at Law Abiding Biker and in the Soren Few MC. We just, uh, we ride. Even a throw together ride, no big deal for us just a matter of getting out and going even last minute I think we got four of us or so going we'll see should be a beautiful day 100 plus rock and roll I got my oh yeah stopped by the espresso three shots mm -hmm. short night last night so I'm, I'm ready to rock and roll beautiful out here this morning absolutely beautiful so first stop we got to get gas real quick. We're in the one horse town of Moxie, Washington. Yeah, it's huge. Not. Looks like uh, Oscar's coming with us. I see Oscar and LD, it looks like. Let's fuel up. Here we go. Two hours up, hang out, see Popeye, do all that good stuff, and we're gonna pick up uh, Big Daddy Kane here in about a half hour. He's waiting over what's called the Vernita Bridge. Leaving Moxie, Washington, and uh, ready to rock and roll. It's already t t-shirt. I have a sweatshirt on, but it's already like 80 degrees out here and it's 8 in the morning. It's been for two weeks here in the Yakima Valley area of Washington State. It's been between 100 and 110 for over two weeks now. So it has been a warm stretch and it's supposed to be about 107 today. So be nice to just keep moving on the bike, keep the airflow going. Start this ride right. Let's get right up in their grill. Say hi to Oscar and LD. Look at these guys. That's Oscar on his Ultra Classic. LD on his 2012 Street Glide CVO. What a beautiful day. Get out the way. Rock and roll. Now we're in the middle of nowhere. And it is windy today here. We got like 50, 60 mile an hour crosswinds here just riding sideways trying to keep her in the lane here. So these roads out here, the way we're taking are just super long and you can go like this forever, just straight, no cars, nothing. Let's go say hi. I'm bored.
All right, so what we're coming up on here, guys, is the uh, Hanford, if you've ever heard of it. Hanford is a nuclear facility here in Washington State, Eastern Washington State. This is the West Hanford Gate, the West Entrance. It's a super, super secure, you know, facility. They've got Department of Defense, they've got SWAT teams, they got all kinds of stuff to uh, protect it. There's the uh, West Gate entrance there, but Hanford is huge out here. And uh, the feds are probably gonna take me down here with some choppers for even video recording here, I'm sure, soon. If you guys see some choppers above me gunning me down, you'll know why. But uh, yeah, that's a nuclear facility, huge. And they've been trying to clean it up for years and it's still gonna take a ton of years. They employ a lot of people. Security, fire department, they got their own little big operation, I should say, but can't see much of it from here. It's way back in there, but anyways, that is Hanford. I don't know, uh, we're probably getting exposed to all kinds of nuclear shit right now. LD's probably glowing. Oscar, they're just probably glowing. Good thing we don't have a meter, nuclear meter or some radiation. At least the wind's going away from us. It's coming across, it's blowing it away from us, if that matters. Pulling into the Vernita rest area, the Vernita Bridge is over here across Columbia River. Picking up Big Daddy Kane here. You guys have heard him on the podcast before. There he is. Look at him sitting over there on the park bench. Having a little picnic or something. All right, we got Big Daddy Kane here. And we're off northbound to Wenatchee. This is the Vernita Bridge. It's the Columbia River you're looking at. Huge, huge river in Washington State. Lots of bridges go across it, follows lots of highways, creates an ass load of power from all the dams everywhere. So you'll notice here the big daddy Kane is running a slick back vest. He's a prospect with the Sworn Few MC. And uh, he got through hang around and all that and became a prospective member. He gets a vest with a little square patch up front that says Sworn Fu MC. We have a very stringent process, as most of you know that have been following us. Very, very strict process for making it all the way into membership. We uh, have talked about it in past podcasts. And uh, this guy rides, Big Daddy Kane. He rides, he's always up to go for a ride. Uh, he doesn't complain. And uh, brotherhood, man. Everybody uh, in this club you can completely trust and kind of just absolutely an extended family. But anyways, that's why he's running a slick back. As soon as he makes full membership, uh, you know, then he'll get issued his three piece. That's his 14 Ultra Classic. Love that color. Well, we're getting closer, but just want to talk. See all these tar snakes, guys? All these tar lines. I don't know if where you guys ride, you have to deal with that. We deal with it in different areas, but that's what we call them as tar snakes. And you see them, it's Department of Transportation trying to fill in the cracks. And it's 100 plus today. And if you've ever ridden on tar snakes in 100 plus weather, they're just sticky and they're like rubber and it's uh, if you're not used to it even when you're used to it it's a really shitty feeling um, especially on corners because you'll go leaning hard into a corner and uh, like I say they're all sticky and hot and rubbery and you really it doesn't feel like you have good traction and your tires will actually slip a little bit off of them until they hit the pavement 
and that's a real, like I say, a real shitty feeling. Um, if you do run into those, just go with it. I'm on them now and the bike's all over the place. You can feel them just give out as soon as you, you get on them, but anyways, I wouldn't go hauling the mail into corners when you're dealing with these things. I mean, you can corner on them. Like I say, you're just going to feel your tires slipping and moving around and I wouldn't push it, but look at that. They just cleared up, so good old tar snakes. So here in Washington State in the eastern portion, we have a ton of dams along the Columbia River. It's a beautiful ride along the river, but that's an idea of just one of them. And there are an ass load all the way north and south. Create a ton of power for Washingtonians, of course. And then uh, we ship a lot of power to California. You're welcome, California. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we ship power all over. They are massive, massive structures. They're fun to tour if you're ever up here. Stop by, there's a lot of them that will uh, have tours and guided tours and all kinds of stuff. Huge facilities. Let's, uh, let's make sure LD's awake. All right, enough goofing around. You guys don't try that at home. We've ridden together thousands and thousands and thousands of miles, so make sure you're comfortable if you're gonna ride that close. There you go, there's your safety tip of the day. So that's Jeff in front of me. We stopped by his house here in Wenatchee. He's the vice president of the Sworn Few chapter up here, Sworn Few MC, on his nuclear banana colored ultra there. We woke his ass up, he's working nights, but that's how we roll, man. He's like, whatever, got out of bed and it's taking us into town to get us uh, some grub. All right, here we are. Looks like he's taking us to McGlynn's. If you guys get a chance, it's a good little restaurant, good brews here in Wenatchee, Washington. We've eaten here before. All right, so had a frosty, cooled down, got some grub. We're headed back to Yakima, Washington area. Old Yakima, Vegas. Up here in Wenatchee, they've had a ton of fires. They always do. It's been a dry, hot year. It's like 107 up here right now. You might see off into the distance how hazy it is and all the smoke. A ton of forest fires have had to evacuate a lot of people. Fires are coming down close, so that's why it's so hazy everywhere. We're gonna head back a different way over what's called Blewett Pass. Right over the mountains, it's uh, gonna cool down. It's gonna be beautiful. Hopefully it'll drop about 10 degrees for us. There's old LD. So old Blewett Pass there is a pretty fun pass to ride. It's the Wenatchee National Forest. It's got lots of corners, but on a weekend like this, we always get hung up by all the cagers, of course. They hold us back. But hopefully it's gonna drop about 10 degrees here when we get to the top, it'll feel good. some don't even know what that is free souls mc there at the convenience center never heard of them 
first time. Just leaving Ellensburg. That's what this little city is called. We're not in the main part of it, but headed back to Yakima about 30 minutes away. We're gonna hit what's called the canyon and follow the Yakima River down. Should be lots of floaters, day floaters. So we're going down the Yakima River Canyon is what they call it. State Route 823. Lots of floaters today, 100 plus degrees. You, a lot of recreation on this river above the dam here. And uh, the girls get all hot and bothered on hot days up here. They, they'll flash you if you're riding a Harley, I guess. I might have seen that a time or two coming down here. I think that's what LD's waiting for. But anyways, lots of recreation, lots of fly fishing, floating, cliff diving, all kinds of stuff. It's a great ride. It's about 30 miles between Ellensburg and Yakima, or Sela, Washington. Nice and windy. Frickin' cagers pull right out in front of us. A lot of morons up here, if you do ride it, especially weekends, a lot of drunk asses and stuff. Be careful, use caution. that old ratty bike was up against the guardrail like somebody just left it there one down and around in the corner here this is the Rosa recreation area it's close to the dam about two miles up you can uh, boat out here and jet ski and stuff like that and then everybody who's floating the river kind of pulls out their rafts here because backed up by the dam and uh, they pretty much pull out right there surprised usually a lot of boats and jet skis out here on a weekend but I guess it is late Sunday probably everybody's kind of headed home there you go guys just another day that's how we roll hope you enjoyed the ride how we roll here at Law Biting Biker and the Sworn Free MC it's a throw together ride but a good over four hour saddle time back mid-afternoon or early afternoon actually all right guys peace out for the next one <laughs>